Hi guys, Nick here. Today I'm going to show you how you can clean your data using Microsoft Power BI. It's actually quite a straightforward process, so smash a like button and let's jump into the desktop. Okay guys, so here we have a blank Power BI document. The first thing we want to do is get some data. So I'm just going to go ahead and get data. I'm going to use an Excel workbook. I'm just going to use this one right here. We're going to click OK and we're going to get that into our uh, Power BI. So here you can see there's lots of pieces of information. I just want to get my content tab here or my table table I should say um, that has uh, data in it and I'm just going to go ahead and click on load okay so this is a very straightforward and easy way to just get basic Excel data into Power BI and then what we're going to do is we're going to see what uh, what that structure looks like and uh, whether or not we need to make some changes for that the first thing we're going to do is going to go over to table view and in here we're able to see everything that is going on right so we can see we've got types we have day the day the the time uh, which is a bit weird uh, oh, that's because it's um, 1200 hours so you can see that this data is not clean in the way that we want it to be so that's going to be a little bit strange we have some blank columns uh, we also have some additional stuff over this side and there's also some gaps in here as well right where there's missing pieces of information as well so we want to essentially go ahead and try to clear through a lot of this remove a lot of the blanks and all of that kind of stuff so to do that what we're going to do is we're going to go back over to our report page here we're going to go to the home ribbon at, uh, the home tab on the ribbon here and what we're going to look for is transform data we're going to give that a click and it's going to bring up our power query okay now we only have one query here which is basically our excel data uh, you might have multiple different uh, tables etc we're just going to focus on this one for today's uh, video right and for tutorial so in here we know that there's a few things that need to change right our time here isn't formatted correctly okay this is because obviously this is coming through uh, as you know the wrong date but the correct time now in my particular case this isn't actually overly too difficult uh, or too much of a problem now you can of course change the type here you can just have time which is essentially what we want so I'm just going to go ahead and click time and we're going to go ahead and replace anyway and now it has the correct timestamp okay so we have our date on one column and now we have the time on the other okay so what I did there was right click on the time here we went down to change the type and it was by default date time and I just changed it to time okay so that's a nice easy win um, but sometimes there's a little bit more complicated uh, you know than that sometimes you got these blank areas that you need to be removed right and you can see that there's a couple of different ways that you might want to do this now in the case here I actually want to keep the type column unaffected because I can see that there's data in my ideas column but there's no data in my type okay so I don't just want to remove all of the blanks or all of the nulls from type I actually want to remove the nulls from the ideas area okay thus it will remove everything else on the left hand side and the right hand side in accordance but it will still keep my ideas here okay so for that what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, basically right click on this header it can be anywhere on this header and then we're going to go down to basically where it uh, will be remove um, the lengths now it you've got remove errors you've got uh, remove duplicates um, but I can't actually see the remove blanks so what we're going to do then is we're going to add a new step for this okay now you can see here on the right hand side we have applied steps and we have the source the navigation the promoted headers and the change in types now from this little drop down menu just like you would with Excel you can have the ability to filter and what we want to do is we want to remove null okay essentially removing empty rows okay you can also do it here uh, if you don't want to do it with this you can also click remove empty um, I can see null right here but for the purpose of this video it will click remove empty and it's going to remove all of those empty rows it'll add a step over on the right hand side as well and as you scroll down you can see it's removed all of those null values out of our spreadsheet but it has kept all of the null values over here on the type section okay that's what I wanted but sometimes you might want to do this across all of the columns removing all of the different parts of errors or uh, clean your data out of anything that you need there's also a couple of columns over here on the far right hand side that are completely redundant so I can go ahead and click on each of these using and holding the control key down and then I can select both of those columns at the same time I can go ahead and right click and I can click remove columns it's going to remove those two columns at the end there and now we end up with all of this we also have here a column without a header we can go ahead and rename that if we want to and um, but for the most part that's not necessarily all that important but it's something that we can do if we 
want to okay now for the most part uh, as you can kind of see that is now my data cleaned once I'm happy with all of the changes that I've made all I have to do is in the top left hand corner is click close and apply and of course you can check before doing so whether all of the types match up so for example we here we have uh, type uh, data um, sorry text text here this is a date this is a time this is text this is text if you've got any number fields you're going to want to make sure that everything here is correct if not you can change the type of that as well you can obviously have the ability to right click on these and change the type or if you're feeling a little bit more advanced you can of course come into the advanced editor and in here you can see where it says the type text type text you could change these as well if you wanted to type it directly in here without adding additional steps into your power query once you're happy though just click close and save and it's going to load all of those changes into Microsoft Power BI and of course you can check this by either going over to the data side on the right hand side or going over to the table on the left hand side and seeing your tables as they now come on through and guys it is as honestly as easy as that and so guys there you have it that is how I clean my data in Microsoft Power BI now sometimes of course it's much easier to have your data cleaned before it gets there you can do this through Excel or if you've got API calls and you've got JSON files and so forth you can of course clean the data before it gets to Power BI using something like data flows or something to that effect but if that's not the way that you're working and currently you're just getting raw data dumped into Power BI desktop well that is how you would go ahead and clean it it can obviously take a lot of time to clean through a lot of those intricacies um, and obviously sometimes that data might not be static it might be dynamic and so for the, some of the changes that you see you might not see them right away it can be a little bit fiddly but ultimately once you've got it cleaned you can use that data in a really structured way in Power BI if you found this video useful and informative smash a like button for me guys if you want to stay up to date with the hints and tips that I do here on the channel make sure to subscribe and of course if you haven't done so already you might want to check out that video right there specifically if you're interested in creating toggle buttons for Microsoft's Power BI.